It's me, Heather Feather, and today I'm going to be reading you some interesting but true facts. <laughs> My mic smells like perfume because I sprayed it with a lot of perfume from my last uh, haircut roleplay. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to be doing a um, ear-to-ear whispering and soft-speaking video for you and letting you know some really neat facts. Uh, I haven't fact-checked these though, so some might be wrong, so facts-ish. <laughs> Uh, this is probably the last audio clip you guys will be seeing for a little bit because my computer arrived finally and I'm um, just setting it up and getting the software onto it and learning it so hopefully the next time you see me you will actually be seeing me I have a ton of role plays in my head that I've been itching to do so I'm hoping to get to it as soon as possible. But today, I have frequented the internet and read it and found of some, <laughs> some really weird things to tell you guys about. So let's get started. <sighs> Number one. Humans can't handle that much vitamin A. The word facetiously contains all five vowels and Y in alphabetical order. There are different types of rainbows. The rainbow is called a rainbow because it is caused by the reflection of sunlight in the rain. There are also moon bows, dew bows, and glory bows. <laughs> and and elbows. <laughs> A redditor. A redditor. state of Connecticut. A pickle technically isn't a pickle unless it bounces. Someone should let uh, ASMR requests know that. If you guys didn't know, here's another fact. A weird but true fact. <laughs> Allie, who a lot of you might know as ASMR requests, uh, is with pickles. She's a huge pickle fan. Also tomatoes. Anyway, moving on. There was a ten foot tall ape called Gigantopithecus that is now thought to be extinct. The fossil record also indicates that they most likely which indicates a cognitive level that only one other ape possesses. A group of ferrets is called a business. Tyrannosaurus rex lived closer in time to humans than to Stegosaurus. That's neat.
No, this is neat too. Cleopatra lived closer in time to the moon landing than to the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza. This smells like a mixture of Taylor Swift's fragrance and Katy Perry. This one doesn't smell. I must have hit that directly with the perfume. Um, where was I? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have a long enough straw, you could only suction water upwards the length of ten meters. After that, water spontaneously boils. That really? <laughs> Stop laughing, Heather. Okay, guys, let's get serious, all right? Okay. 50% of the human genome is shared with bananas. So 50% of the human genome shared with nainers. The human brain takes in 11 million bits of information every second, but is aware of only 40. If you drilled a tunnel straight through the earth and jumped in, it would take you exactly 42 minutes and 12 seconds to get to the other side. A medium-sized cumulus cloud weighs about the same as 80 elephants. I like elephants. They're really smart. I think they're really beautiful. And they're very emotional. When I was little, we used to have, um, I guess you would call them fairs, where I used to live. And they used to have camel rides and elephant rides. And, <laughs> why am I telling you this? Um, one time, an elephant uh, peed <laughs> and I was a little girl and my mom, I guess, wasn't watching me close enough and I thought it was a big puddle and I started playing in it. You know, little kids jump in puddles. Yeah, that's a story that my mom loves to tell people that uh, I would rather not know at family dinners or holidays. I had a thing with pee when I was little. I'm told that, why am I telling you guys this? Whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I'm told that, uh, when I was very, very, very little, I went to the beach. Well, I didn't go myself. 
my mom took me to the beach and I got stripped and <laughs> peed on the beach in front of a lot of people. <laughs> oh, good times. Back to the facts. It's too late for me to be doing this, guys. <laughs> I don't have my filters up. Alright, I'm putting on filters now. Was I? Oh, okay. A single bolt of lightning contains enough energy to cook 100,000 pieces of toast. Wow, it's a lot of toast. I love toast. Human saliva contains a painkiller called opiorphin. That is six times more powerful than morphine. Lava can flow as fast as a sprinting greyhound. The dinosaurs became extinct before the Rockies or the Alps were formed. really cool. Hold well, on, think about that. When the flea jumps, the rate of acceleration is 20 times that of the space shuttle during launch. That's incredible. That's, I love nature. Nature is so awesome. Speaking of space shuttles, astronauts cannot Belch. There is no gravity to separate liquid from gas in their stomachs. Is that true? Is that true though? I feel like, I don't know. Is it true? The low frequency goal of the humpback whale is the loudest noise. If you've been with me for a while, you've probably heard me talk about my bucket list. And something that's on my bucket list is seeing a blue whale in the wild. I love whales. And, and dolphins. Um, but, uh, How do I explain this without sounding super? The oceans always uh, fascinated me because um, so much is unknown about it, and I feel like there's so much information in it that we have no idea how to see yet. And so you have these uh, amazing creatures that live in the ocean. And it's so vast and. And you have these mammals that are so smart living in the ocean as well. And they have emotion and they have families and they communicate and... Like, I wonder what that's like for them. You know? Like, what do they think about? Like, I would never want to be a fish. I would never want live in the ocean because everything eats you. I think there's a, a Mitch uh, Hedberg joke about that. Or was it Mitch? If it wasn't Mitch, you should check out Mitch because uh, he was an awesome comedian. There was a joke about how much it would... What had it go? If you... I'm glad that you can't speak fish because if you could and you stuck your head in the ocean, all you would hear is screaming or something like that. I'm butchering it. But, yeah, I'm really glad that I'm not a fish. But 
but I am still really fascinated by it, especially whales, and they're so gigantic and beautiful and interesting. I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I love them, and I've gone whale watching. Um, about a handful of times in my life and I, I, I really, really want to see a blue whale one day so cool okay, stop talking okay we are on a whale, right? where are you, whale? Mm -hmm. okay the low frequency call of the humpback whale is the loudest noise made by a living creature. A thimble full, ooh, I like this one. A thimble full of a neutron star would weigh over 100 million tons. That's so crazy. The longest time between two twins being born is 87 days. The world's deepest post box is in Sasami Bay in Japan. Underwater. Susami? Sorry if I said that wrong. Everyone has a unique tongue print. Just like fingerprints. Most Muppets are left handed because most Muppeteers are right handed. So they operate the head with their favorite hand. sounds terrible and gross and I don't like it at all I will never eat that cheese if, if it was hard to understand me because I was doing some breathy whispers what I said was kasu marsu is a Sardinian cheese that contains live maggots the maggots can jump five inches out of cheese while you're eating it. So, it's a good idea to shield it with your hand to stop them from jumping into your eyes. That sounds terrible. Oh, this is so sad. Oh no, this is so sad. The loneliest creature on earth. Oh. is a whale who has been calling out for a mate for over two decades, but whose high-pitched voice is so different to the other whales that they never respond. Oh, someone date that whale. <sighs> Poor whale. It just wants to be loved. Oh, someone should make a movie about it, but let it have a happy ending. The first American film to show a toilet being flushed 
on screen was Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Melting glaciers and icebergs make a distinctive fizzing noise known as Bergy Seltzer or Bergy Seltzer. The tiny parasite Toxoplasma gondii can only breed sexually when in the guts of a cat. To this end, when it infects rats, it changes their behavior to make them less scared of cats. That's diabolical. That's diabolical. The largest snowflake ever recorded reportedly measured 15 inches across. A crocodile Shrimp's heart is in its head. You think all, all our hearts are in our head sometimes. In a study of 200,000 ostriches. Over a period of 80 years, no one reported a single case where an ostrich buried its head in the sand. It is physically impossible for pigs to look up to the sky. Rats and horses cannot vomit. A duck's quack doesn't echo, and no one knows why. A ball of glass will bounce higher than a ball of rubber. A ball of solid steel will bounce higher than the one made entirely. Ostriches are not often taken seriously. They can run faster than horses, and the males can roar like lions. Wow. Is this real? This is cool. A raisin dropped in a glass of French champagne will bounce up and down continuously from bottom to top. Susan Lucci is the daughter of Phyllis Stiller. Is that real? I didn't know that. No, is that real? That can't be. Is that real? Leonardo da Vinci invented scissors. Some of you have asked why I say scissors instead of scissors. I don't know how many of you will remember. But a while back, Missy Elliott had a song, and I have no idea what she said in that song, but it always sounded like she said skither. It was like, gibberish. it was like, what's me? What's skither? What's skither? What's me? I wish I did a better job at that. I hope some of you know what I'm talking about. Um... Mm. Really? A tiny amount of liquor on a scorpion will make it instantly go mad and sting itself to death. That's terrible. Really? The mask used by Michael Myers in the original Halloween was a Captain Kirk mask. I see a Captain Kirk, I want him painted white. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
be a perfect disguise. Owls are the only birds who can see the color blue. You breathe on average about five million times a year. Months that begin on a Sunday always have a Friday the 13th in them. I think a lot of this is pretty interesting, guys. <laughs> Elbow. <laughs> you are born with 300 bones. And by the time you are an adult, you will have 206. The average lead pencil will write the line about 35 miles long, or write approximately 50,000 English words. One fourth of the bones in your body are in your... Do you know what they're in? Want to take a guess? They're in your... Feet. The average person spends two weeks of their lifetime Waiting for the light to change from red to green. I think that's sad. It's so much time. Almost is the longest word in the English language. With all the letters in alphabetical order. Of all the words in the English of chewing gum is over 9,000 years old. Scientists have tracked butterflies traveling over 3,000 miles. I love butterflies and bees. Gotta look out for the bees and the butterflies. We need them. Especially bees, but also butterflies. produce a single pound of honey, a single bee would need to visit two million flowers. A colony of, oh, that's so, talking about bees and bats. A colony of 500 bats can eat approximately 250,000 insects in an hour. The FDA permits up to five whole insects per 100 grams of apple butter. Ew. What? Why? Why apple butter? What's apple butter? Does it taste like apples? I feel like I should try that. There are no naturally occurring blue foods. Even blueberries are purple. And the last one. A broken clock is right two times a day. 
and that's it. I hope that you guys liked this. Uh, I know I've said it before, but oh, thank you for sticking with me while uh, we've been transitioning with equipment, and it, it hasn't been easy for me, and I know that a lot of you miss videos, and I really miss making them too. But I did the best I could, and I appreciate how many of you were so supportive and nice <laughs> about it while I tried to give you content without having a computer. And also, uh, I don't know that they'll ever even see this, but thank you so much to my friend who let me use their computer for the last month or so. Um, they let me uh, come over to their house after they would get home from work and use their computer that they use. And so that person sacrificed a lot of their downtime in order for me to continue giving you guys content. And I think that's incredibly generous. And I want to let that person know that I appreciate it so much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. And hopefully I'll see you guys very, very, very soon in a roleplay. something that you think can't possibly be 